Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to pair your Apple Watch Series 11 with an iPhone. So I have an Apple Watch Series 11 right here, and it's already connected to the charger uh, because it asks me to do that. Uh, because it said uh, there's a low battery, but I'm gonna quickly disable it. I'm gonna turn it off so I can show you how to turn it on. And um, when I turn it on, there will be a pop-up on the screen, but if there's not, I'll still show you a way how to connect it if there's no pop-up on the screen of your iPhone. Okay, so to turn your Apple Watch on, you should uh, either um, do it by pressing and holding on this button below the crown this one um, until you see the Apple logo but also uh, if you'd like you can instead just connect it straight to the charger um, that is included um, because connecting it to the charger will automatically turn it on so I'm gonna do it anyway because I have low battery on the Apple watch as it said um, and uh, yeah, if it says low battery, then you just need to connect it to continue. And now there's a high chance you may see a pop-up on your screen at the bottom of your screen. I'm gonna try to um, make that happen. Yeah, I don't really see it, but if there's a pop-up, yeah, okay, it's there. You can click on continue. But I'm gonna close it to show you how to do it without the pop-up, so you can actually open the watch app, which if you don't have, it comes pre-installed, but maybe you've uninstalled it. Uh, if you don't have it, just go to the App Store and search for a watch. And then download this app. I'm gonna open it. And uh, let's start pairing. So I'm gonna click here. And now you can select whether you're setting it up for yourself or for a family member. I'm setting it up for myself, so I'm gonna select that. If you're setting it up for a family member, it may be a little bit different in uh, the setup process, but now we'll need to hold the Apple Watch up to the camera to scan this weird code uh, just to make sure that we are pairing the correct device so i'm now holding it it's not connecting really okay if connecting does not work for whatever reason you can pair your apple watch manually now select your apple watch enter a six digit code that is displayed on your apple watch now so it's going to be 509-816. All of this is done to like verify that uh, you're connecting to the correct Apple Watch and you're not setting up someone else's Apple Watch uh, by an accident or on purpose. Um, in most cases, just scanning the code on the Apple Watch works. In this case, it didn't. I don't know why. And let's click on Set Up Apple Watch. Now, uh, select which wrist you're gonna wear your Apple Watch on. I'm gonna select my left wrist, and then let's click on Continue. And it's gonna take a little moment to simply uh, set it up, and shortly I'll um, get back to you. Now we've gotten to terms and conditions and we should just click on agree here. Uh, wait for a moment, uh, then it tells you about Apple account um, and uh, enable to, in order to be able to activate uh, your Apple Watch you will need to enter password to your Apple account if it prompts you about it, because sometimes it doesn't prompt you about it. Uh, you can skip this step technically, but I don't really see a reason to skip it, because um, then if you lose your Apple Watch, um, you won't be able to locate it. So I think it's worth signing in. Remember that it enables activation lock, uh, so uh, when someone resets your Apple Watch without knowing their Apple account, they won't be able to activate it uh, without 
entering the details of the Apple account that was previously signed in. Okay, now it says um, I've entered the password, now I can click on sign in and it's verifying my Apple account. Okay, now you can share uh, your watch analytics with Apple if you want. Um, it'll just share analytics so they can improve services, you know, based on some problems that your Apple Watch registers. I'm gonna share it. Uh, now it asks you about the Apple Watch passcode if you want to set it up. If you don't, you can click on don't add passcode, but I highly recommend using a passcode. Now I'm gonna explain how the passcode works. Um, it only asks you for the password once you take your Apple Watch off your wrist and put it on again. So you can see now my Apple Watch is unlocked. I could normally use it uh, and everything is here possible. Um, but um, when I take my Apple Watch off my wrist, then it gets locked with uh, the passcode. And when I put it on, it's still locked with passcode. And when I enter the, this passcode, then it stays unlocked until I take it off again. So uh, you can create a standard passcode or a long passcode. I'm gonna create a standard for digit one and let's uh, type it in on the Apple Watch. Then let's type it in again to confirm. And now you're in text size selection. So you can uh, enable or disable bold text. You'll see the preview on your iPhone as well as on your Apple Watch. You can also change the text size. Uh, making it smaller will make uh, you be able to fit more elements on the screen. But making it larger will make the text more visible to you. So depending on your preference, you can set it to whatever you like. And now let's click on continue. Now uh, it says that your iPhone and Apple Watch share some settings like location services, find my iPhone, Siri, and analytics and improvements. So if something's enabled on your iPhone, when it comes to these settings that I've mentioned, uh, they also will be enabled on the Apple Watch because they are shared across devices. Let's click on OK. And now confirm your date of birth, your uh, sex, your height, weight, so uh, it ensures that fitness and health data as, are as accurate as possible. You can of course change this so they actually match your, um, your actual data. And you can also enable wheelchair, which is a really great option for people on wheelchair because it uh, uses pushes instead of steps for activity tracking um, and it's more accurate than now, uh, workout route tra tracking, you can enable it. And uh, when you turn on a workout in the workout app on your Apple Watch, it'll start tracking your route so you can later uh, view it, how your route went, where you were walking, for example, or, or running or cycling. Let's enable it. And now it says about sleep. You can skip or set up a schedule for your sleep. Um, it'll tell you your sleep score, your overnight vitals, it'll give you some reminders and updates about your sleep, and also will track your sleep. So I will set up a schedule, but feel free to disable it if you don't like it. You can change your sleep goal, which is gonna be in hours. Um, I'm gonna leave it at classic eight hours. Then uh, my schedule for the sleep, I can edit my schedule, I can also add multiple schedules. Uh, I'm actually gonna edit this one and you can, um, now it's set to eight hours and 30 minutes. So first I'm gonna turn it a little bit down to just eight hours. I think that's enough for me. I don't really have time for eight and a half hours of sleep. Uh, and now I can uh, move it around like that. So I can change the bedtime and wake up time. Um, I could also select whether I want to wake up with alarm or without alarm. Uh, it doesn't really, it doesn't really uh, give me an option here. But if I slow down, uh, sc scroll down, uh, then I can enable that alarm or just delete the schedule. Um, so yeah, you can enable the alarm. You can change the settings of the alarm. Um, I'm just gonna leave my bedtime at 11 p.m. and my wake up time at. Uh, 7 a.m. 
and you can change in which days it's active and if you for example disabled it on uh, the weekends then you can add a schedule for the weekends or just omit them let's confirm the schedule now it tells you you can enable or disable some notifications first of all is your environmental noise if you're in a mm, in an environment that is very loud like a concert or somewhere else it'll tell you uh, what is the sound current sound level and uh, that it may affect your hearing it also if you have a uh, too low heart rate it'll tell you that if you have that option enabled and if you have too high high rate um, heart rate uh, in in resting uh, then also it'll tell you about that um, let's click on continue now it tells you what safety features your Apple watch has so feel free to read them uh, now let's click on continue and it tells you what hand gestures you can use you can use a wrist flick which will as you can see in the um, video right here when you flick your wrist it'll dismiss a notification also there's a double tap and it's a one-handed gesture because you can just double tap with the hand that you have your apple watch on um, to um, answer a call reply to a message see your smart stack and more now let's click on continue then you can enable depth um, app there's a depth app on your apple watch and it measures um, how many feet or meters um, you are submerged under the water so if you're diving you can enable it to open automatically when you're submerged or, or don't open automatically you can still open it manually I'm gonna open that um, automatically now it's signing into my Apple account so it may take a moment I'm gonna get back to you when it's done and now it says welcome to your Apple watch so I can click on done now it didn't load in some cases if your setup process took a bit uh, shorter than mine um, it may hold a second uh, like to to load but as you can see in my case it's all loaded so I can just click on start on the Apple watch I can enter my passcode okay let's click on start and now you can learn how to navigate your Apple watch you can press the digital crown to see your apps you can press on it again to return to the watch face you can press on the side button to open control center and also clicking on it again will result in closing the, side, uh, the control center you can also slide your uh, crown up or down uh, to open uh, the widgets or also if you slide it down uh, then you're gonna return to the watch face you can also return to the watch face by clicking on the button or you can also slide on the screen because it's a touch screen of course and uh, these are all the things about pairing your apple watch with the iphone i hope that the video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one